Hello to all my beautiful nerds traveling across the vast universe and welcome back. I am back with another YouTube collab or shall I say more of an Instagram collab with this palette here. The Vegas Nay Stardust Palette with Too Faced Cosmetics. This is the very first uh, online personality collaboration I've ever picked up from a brand and I mostly was interested due to the colors. I know Vegas Nay is more of an Instagram influencer but he does have a YouTube channel. I'm not sure if she still posts but I did find her channel on YouTube. So yeah I am going to be using the Stardust palette by Too Faced Cosmetics. I'm not sponsored by Too Faced. Uh, sorry. So, yeah. This is my palette. Got it many years ago, back in 2015, when collabs with so many brands were taking flight. So, yeah. Hey, can sure. So, I'm sorry if I haven't been back on YouTube. It was because the internet was shut off for us. Oh, wait a minute. And lately, the cable company that's been offering us the internet has been <laughs> in hot water lately with some with most of its customers. But hoping things look bright and I learned my lesson, don't let this happen. So, yeah, pay your internet bills, kids. So, yeah, let's get into this look. I have my business, not business, my uh, index cards. Okay. First, with the lid, I am going into hashtag selfie, which is shade four. So, uh, I am glad to be back after what I went through with the internet being all off and everything. Trust me, it was not an easy thing to go through being without the internet. I mean, it's like going through a hurricane without power. So, yeah. So, I'm going to hashtag selfie for my lid shade. And I was pretty much bouncing off the walls without it, but I did catch up with some reading. I even started reading a new series, The Cupcake Bakery Mysteries by Jen McKinley. McKinley? But it got me also craving cupcakes, so I make cupcakes while the internet was down. And the funny thing was the cable and the internet started working again while I was lining them in their cupcake liners and I had leftover strawberry frosting for my birthday. I do not like strawberry frosting. It's way too thin. I'm better off just using the thicker consistency frostings which I got chocolate fudge and that worked out perfectly except one cake ended up being teeny tiny which I didn't realize how much mix I put in. A really good tip if anybody is gonna make any cupcakes use an ice cream scoop to put in the little cups and it ended up being a itsy busy tart but it worked out well and I used cream soda in this one, this batch, and I used white cake, and it works better with white cake, honestly. 
had to try to use like a more of a citrusy soda for the yellow cake cupcakes since Gondras loves those. Loves yellow cake. A lot. So, yeah. If you're wondering what does soda do to a cupcake, well, it makes the cake more spongy and a little more moist and sometimes it causes the cake to be fresh a little bit longer because when I make cupcakes with root beer they lasted two more weeks than the usual two weeks well more like a week and a half longer okay now that shade is put down. And I topped off the cupcakes with white chocolate chips because it's tough using sprinkles when you don't have a little sifter. I need to find sprinkles with sifters if I'm going to use them on brownies or cupcakes or if I were making an actual cake I would probably do the same thing where is it oh there it is I don't know what happened how they fell off okay next for definer I am going into double tap which is shade number 10 yeah, I can hear it's still going when I first got this palette this is before I did the big color guide with all my pellets and I had to scour the internet for color descriptions and had to watch a video on YouTube describing them because one page had them out of order I'm like that's not easy so yeah so I added this to that guide Again, this, the colors in this palette got me to put on my Christmas list. And I remembered it was around the time that the Naked Smoky palette by Urban Decay came out. And I asked for that on my list too. Alongside the Smashbox Full Exposure palette in case as a backup plan because there are times when you can't find a gift all the time and there's always the backup. <laughs> that happened, that ended up being the same way with the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette when the year of the chocolate shop, the New York Cafe and Mary Macaron sets came out for a holiday. And my dad was like, I still want to get you the Mary Macarons. And everybody in town was sold out until I found it at the Ulta he went to first. Had one left, and I had to pretty much beg for them to hold it. I know they're not supposed to hold stuff, but there are times when they could only hold certain things for... And I was lucky with that last one. I still have that thing, by the way, because I'm afraid of using limited edition, edition stuff and don't want to 
use it up and know that I can't get it anymore. Unless I could find it on Poshmark, maybe. But I'm afraid about eBay since there are times when some stuff comes out fake. I think this was the shape that wasn't as pigmented as the rest. Because, you know, this was before Too Faced kind of started showing not as much pigmentation in some of their stuff. I heard their Tutti Fruity collection was is pretty good. But I haven't seen the videos because, I don't know, it didn't really um, catch my eye in a sense. Okay. For crease, I am going into Showgirl, which is shade upside down, shade five in these palettes, which is under Millennial, which is going to be my brow color. I know I dug into this shade and made a considerable dent. Again, I did say I didn't have a guide back in the day. But at least now I have a color guide. In case if you're wondering, maybe I should do this now here while I'm chit chatting, doing while doing this look. Am I getting the Too Faced? I'm doing a video edition of Do I Want It? Do 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 do, which is where I talk about new releases coming out and if I want it. Too Faced is coming out with new Christmas stuff. One of them is the gingerbread pal gingerbread spice palette. I, to me, after hearing about this, I'm like, did they just expand it on the gingerbread cookie coffee palette? Because the gingerbread cookie coffee palette was one of the three that came in the New York cafe set which you have peppermint mocha, gingerbread cookie coffee, and eggnog latte. Ugh, that's a coffee that I would not touch. I don't know that they make coffee cream out of that. I know they do it with peppermint mocha and gingerbread, but anyways, those were the three. So I guess they're expanding upon the cookie thing. I heard that they're doing a sugar cookie palette, which also smells like sugar cookies. To me, some of the scented palettes are going a little overboard, but I do like the sweet scented ones a lot. I'm not sure if I could trust the pigmentation. I might have to watch some people's reviews before I decide to make my Christmas list if I'm able to even though we moved out but it might be on my Christmas list I am not entirely sure Or even the gingerbread one because I did like the smell of the gingerbread coffee one and the bronzer was pretty good in that one but I had to watch videos to see what people have to say in my brow I'm playing millennial to let you guys know Oh, this home phone. I'm so glad I don't have the one in my room anymore. 
as it would have been ringing while I'm recording. But anyways, what's next on the new releases? Let's see. Since we're talking about holiday in September, Urban Decay is releasing their own Elements eyeshadow, which is eyeshadow palette, which is like what, 18 shades for $56? And like it's a mixture of mattes and everything. <laughs> oh, what the heck am I doing? I meant to grab my brown eyeliner pencil. Okay, um, even though I love Urban Decay, it kind of catches my attention. I could say that it does kind of catch my attention towards the Elements palette, but I don't know if I want to spend the 56 I think I heard it's supposed to be an UrbanDecay.com exclusive because I know they do uh, exclusives to Sephora and Ulta. I guess we have to wait and see, but I am passing on their little uh, little sets. I might get the perversion one. Might. Because you get the eyeliner too. And I tried the Urban Decay eyeliner. To me, if I want Urban Decay, I'd rather stick to the Perversion Mascara and their most of their eyeshadow palettes that I may want or have my eye on because I have so many black eyeliners and I mostly get them from Ipsy or I just pretty much pick them up if I need for a cos for a cosplay purpose like my Itachi cosplay for example because I had to do the wrinkle lines on his face but I am on the fence about the perversion duo the the Hall of Fame mm, not interested at all because I the primer potion is not my favorite and yeah they also have a primer potion duo it's like sticky I understand it's good for eyeshadows to be on there but it sometimes runs into my eyes and I can't really uh, I can't really get into that I prefer the potted ones potted primers Okay, next I'm just using a random mascara. I think this is my Wet n Wild or my Elf. Elf has been improving on their stuff. On their mascara. Hmm. What else? Even though it's not technically holiday but hoping they put it out soon but Urban Decay is doing the um what was it Naked Cherry palette it's naked is it it has naked in its name and you know me I've been collecting the naked palette and yes I'll be getting it. And not only that, it's kind of like the Naked Heat, but they added more to it because Naked Heat did not have any orange shades or peachy shades. I know the Petite Heat had the orange shade, and basically it's supposed to be Petite Heat and Aphrodisiac, the newest little mini palette, which I need to get my paws on that soon. Or at some time, if I ever I start working, probably had a baby, or were put together because these 
are also berry shades from what I heard. I'm like, way to go, Urban Decay, but I heard this is a way of them being a little late to the game because Two-Face did the whole entire peach eyeshadow thing and they went overboard with that because he had the Sweet Peach Palette, the Peaches and Cream Collection. Yeah, they're a little bit late, but here's the thing. Sometimes products can be a little overhyped to the point of, oh, so much of it, gotta get over it. And yeah, Urban Decay kind of went, came late in the game. But I would say, I think it's kind of a good move that they waited this long to do their own version because Two-Face was like doing a lot of it and they could have done it earlier but after discontinuing the, na the original Naked, rest in peace, original Naked, I gotta say that <laughs> even though it was an interesting move on their part if you remembered how I talked about that in my using shades from all the Urban Decay Naked palettes. They just, I found out about it and I think that's due to the packaging being so old old and classic that they need hoping if some people's little theories come true that it's just due to the packaging being so velvet and everything. Trust me, when I got the the palette, I was like, this doesn't look like their usual packaging. I'm not gonna lie. I was like so many people because the palettes later were different and have more of a boxy texture to it. Like a plastic texture, sorry. But anyways. But think about it this way. This kind of gives them more room to play after giving a nice little send off to the original Naked. Even though we have a feeling it'll be back with new and better packaging. Hoping the theory is correct. But again, this kind of... As I said, this does open up new doors to Urban Decay to experiment with new palettes and colors in their Naked line. Because, like what happened with the Naked Smoky, I'm going to my concealer, by the way. Even though it didn't sell so well, but it kind of showed that they could do a Smoky palette. Then Naked Heat came along. That shown that they could do a red warm tone palette and that became popular. So Naked Cherry, since it has more berry tones, peaches and everything, I could probably make pretty good looks out of that even though I rarely use any peach shadows but I think I could experiment and plus makeup is supposed to be experimentation and artistry. I mean, I could come up with a ton of looks, like remember what happened with my Naked Heat looks? <laughs> uh, oh boy, I went crazy on the Naked Heat bandwagon, and I had fun with it. So Naked Cherries definitely go into my collection, I'll be saving up for that. I did hear that there's supposed to be Naked he uh, naked Honey, which is going to be interesting. I know Too Faced did Peanut Butter and Honey, but I heard that palette was not as pigmented. So let's see what Urban Decay does with that one. I can't wait to see what shades they put in there. I understand that it would be mostly golds, but 
I want to see them do yellow uh, shades too because come on honey it's pretty much almost a must bottles it has a very nice golden yellow tone and I want to see that from Urban Decay with that one and there's another one according to what's up in makeup the makeup minute that there's another one called Naked AF. Now that's going to be an interesting one. I don't know what they're going to do with that one, but I can't wait. Okay, next I'm going in with my light concealer. I have to see what Urban Decay comes up with it. And I'm using my new Wonder Woman brush from Luxie Beauty. From Ipsy. Yeah, I got my Ipsy yesterday. This is it's supposed to come in today, according to tracking, and Ipsy's app. Yeah, I review on the Ipsy app because I don't know why, but Internet Explorer likes to play around. But anyways, this is the tapered blending brush. Yeah, it could be used for eyeshadow, but. I'm using it to do my concealer. Oh yeah. That feels nice. What's next? <sighs> if, in case anybody is wondering, no on the Kat Von D fetish palette. I'm sorry to say, guys. Yes, I'm not supporting Kat Von D uh, due to the Instagram post she did. And not only that, agreeing with a lot of people, and I'm coming up with this. I think she's trying a little too hard. That's my opinion. Please let me have it. Have my opinion. I think she's trying a little too hard in fitting in with the trend of color and like deep, deep colors and nudes together. I know it's supposed to be like, uh, what was it? Saint and Sinner almost, but mm, no, 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 no. Because it, I understand she wants to be with the trends of what's going on in makeup, but some of the makeup brands are kind of doing it a little bit better. And I hear the one that Elf did, I've seen Kathleen Lights do a review on. I have to get another wipe. The opposites attract. That's one that I may get because I haven't gotten eyeshadows from Elf Cosmetics in forever. Okay, next foundation. But, uh, sorry, can't. Uh, and of course, she makes things, too many things. Uh, limited edition I'm like you're not gonna have much of a makeup stop like a makeup brand if you're gonna do limited edition all the time and not only that with the basket case eyeliner I love Green Day but you could have done a lot more with that or even do a Green Day themed palette because, come on, Rock Band did an entire game with their music. And seen it at Best Buy. They even did it with the Beatles. And it's like, you could do more with Green Day. Like, have an eyeshadow palette. Instead of a black liner with the name basket case. I'm sorry. I just have tons of black eyeliners and I'm like you could just get one from the drugstore 
easily. I love Green Day, but again, if I was a makeup owner and did collab with a band, I could just do an eyeshadow palette and do it based on their songs. Like, make a red shade for a red shit by Traverser with, like, shifting glitter, for example. There you go. But, nope. Not buying anything from their her holiday collection. Since, yeah, I joined the Molotar stance on what she said, but mm. not only that about blush palettes I think everybody has been coming out with a lot of them I love blush palettes but I can't always have everybody's blush palette I think the only blush palettes I have are the ones from Close of Sense, one of the ones from Elf. Um, is that about it? And one of the blush sets from Tarte, but the little, the four of them with the blush brush from Holiday 2016 because they had a sale on them and. I bought them. <laughs> yeah. Best sale item ever. Oh, right. The one that Hot Topic sold. I think it was LA Splash, if I remember correctly. I have that one too. But I mostly have single blushes, and of course, I travel with them. But, sorry, that's another thing. I love blush, but I hardly reach for blush palettes as I, not as much as I did. And so many people are coming out with them, and I know Tarte is doing their blush book again. Mm. Tarte has been pretty much doing too many neutrals in my book. And they're pretty much copying all their other eyeshadow palettes and just put them in every single one. I mean, I heard good things about the blush palette that they always come out for a holiday, but I don't know. But one thing I have to point out with the pineapple palette for Christmas. Definitely a no. I don't want it because it's pretty much a repeat of shades and two. Mm, why a pineapple? I think it is a tradition in, in Sweden, but why a pineapple? Why not just save it for next summer? That's all I have to say. Save it for next summer since you're all mermaid in. Uh, mermaid and unicorned out and fairy out fairy out <laughs> yeah I think a lot of people are getting over unicorns and fairies as long as everybody did it so yeah do not want the holiday stuff from Tarte I'm going to be putting Liquid Vegas Nail Palette plus Video Edition of Do I Want It. 
when I do this. When I do everything. Oh, and right. <clears throat> Do I want the Jaclyn Hill brushes? No. I do not want it. Want any of them because, okay, if you saw my tryout with the Morphe Vegan set last year, I did say I find better brushes on Amazon and And of course, I get really good brushes from Ipsy. But to me, it's basically Jacqueline Hill just putting her initials on many brushes. That's how I'm looking at it. And I did say I find the brushes just okay, but not my favorite. Even though I think I do have a contrast. A contour brush but I just find their brushes not like amazing how people hype them up to be and shoving the codes down our throats but definitely a no and to me it's not worth the $45 or the $50 I mean come on I get 24 brushes for $15 on Amazon plus the belt. Yeah, I pay for shipping, but it's not some dollars shipping. I'm sorry to say that. You guys, I not haven't been on the Morphe train and plus I heard what had happened to her Volt To me, it, I would have to agree with Makeup Geek, Marlene Estelle. It takes a long time if something gets recalled and improved upon, especially when it comes to makeup, because you're playing with pigmentation, like pigments and everything, and usually you had to test them out before pushing them out. So, it doesn't take four weeks, like she said. I'm agreeing with her with it. So, because I've seen indie, brand, <clears throat> indie brands taking like a year to formulate their stuff. I even ask, and that's Jacob? If he's gonna release anything else in bo uh, bouquet, that's his brand because I don't wear false lashes. But is he gonna make anything else? He's he replied to my comment saying yes, but it's I want to make sure everything is perfect. I'm gonna toss that powder out because it's already panned. But I'm, wait, but I'm making sure everything is formulated very well. And he does mention it does cost a lot to make sure everything is formulated very well. And so, yeah, he's thinking about it, but he's taking the time to make sure it goes well, which is a smart move. And I can't wait to see what he releases. And I wonder if he ships internationally. Because I love his videos on YouTube and he's a very nice guy. Okay, I'm gonna go into this contour duo from Wet n Wild. I did say I do want the opposites of 
Impact palette from e.l.f. I got it by way of getting enough funds during my move to get it <laughs> at some point. I'm hoping it's not limited edition. That would suck if it did. Because I know how hard e.l.f. has been working to keep their stuff very, you know, pigmented and everything. I heard some of the shadows are very soft and you have to kind of blend, but that's with any eyeshadow in my book. You have to kind of blend, 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 depending on what you buy. I wonder what Wild Wild is going to come out for a holiday because you know me with holiday stuff and Elf. Not Elf. Wild Wild. You know me and Wild Wild. A good portion of my makeup collection is nothing but Wild Wild. Next, I am going with this blush that I think I either got in BoxyCharm or Ipsy. I think this would go well with the look that I'm doing and I haven't touched it in forever. I know I got a hip pan on most of my Ipsy products, Ipsy and Boxy products. Let's see, what else, what else? And in case if you're wondering uh, about the Lexi brushes, since I am a comic book movie fan, I definitely either want to get the Harley Quinn or the Wonder Woman brush set, but I'd rather wait until those go down in price, because I saw the price for the Wonder Woman brush set, and holy moly, it's close to a hundred bucks. I'm like... I'd rather wait until those go, uh, go on sale because I'm sorry that's that's in the words of Kathleen Lights that's expensive But anyways, <laughs> but if uh, when Wild comes out with a holiday collection of brushes again this year, I'm definitely wanting to get those because I haven't gotten a brush set from when Wild. <laughs> so now going and doing a mixture of highlights, I'm going to this very soft highlight in the contour duo what else do I am I thinking of wanting oh I did hear NYX is supposed to be coming out with the machinist collection which is like steampunk inspired or cyberpunk inspired I definitely want to see how those shadows look before wanting because you know the I don't know I haven't gotten eyeshadows from NYX in a very long time either I think the last time I've ever gotten eyeshadow thing was the Wicked Dreams palette from them and the uh, crap what was that palette. Oh, now I'm going into my Wild Wild highlight palette. But anyway, it was like dark and gothic type thing. That didn't really catch my eye because Hot Topic kind of beat them out with 
their midnight unicorn and unicorn blood palettes. But I definitely want to see how the Machinist collection would look because you know me and steampunk. I'm using the first shade in this highlighting quad. before buying because they only show black and white pictures of the collection so far. And hoping how it looks, they kind of go with the machine look and everything. As in nice and smokes and if it's gonna be more steampunk like playing with sepia, red brown, like more photography type colors. If it's gonna be cyberpunk it would probably be like dark. <laughs> I know, I know that was deep of me, but hoping that would kind of play a little bit more. In case of anybody is wondering, new on the Natasha Denona palettes, one way out of my price range, and two, I kind of already have a few colors. They're tropical almost. Okay, now I use my wet wild setting spray. I think that's about all the new releases I could talk about and remember hearing about. I'm sorry to say I was a little bit harsh on some of the stuff, but and Is my fan. Oh, are you wondering about Makeup Geek? That's a good question. I haven't been getting much of Makeup Geek's items lately. I I only have like two eyeshadows by them and I am not entirely sure at the moment. Even though it's a really good priced palette for the pumpkin spice as it is, but I don't know. I know a lot of brands are trying to get in on the orange eyeshadow bit. It's nice that they're trying to work with a little bit more warm tones, but come on, we kind of need a cool tone somewhere in there, somewhere being released. Don't worry, I'm still thinking about getting Kathleen's uh, Zodiac palette. I'm using Sultry from Revlon on my lips. But 
hoping she does come out with eyeshadow singles of some of the shades because that would be interesting to do for Target in my opinion. But who knows what's going to happen. But still, eh, I might wait until it goes on sale or something. Well, guys, that completes the look. I know it's weird doing a do I want it on top of this video, but I felt like doing it. And you guys get to hear my opinions about what I think about certain releases. And, of course, you know, what I think, what I might get, what I might think about wanting, you know, who knows what the future holds so this is the completed look and not bad for a look I I am surprised that I still have this shadow palette in my collection and and never thought I would use this shade double tap down here ah major fallout city I do like the names of being like a uh, combination between going on vacation in Vegas and uh, internet related like yeah double tap like double tap on your iPhone hashtag selfie and showgirl for the showgirls in Vegas millennial Yes, she is a millennial, but I think she is, but hey, you never know. But of course, this was a big release back in 2015. I am surprised that I have so many dents in, on this cover. But anyways, that completes this look. Stay tuned for my Swamp Queen palette look because I'm going to be using the purples in that eyeshadow palette and I won't be using the bronzer unfortunately because that thing is too dark so I might use it in my outer corners depending how I feel but you'll see me use that palette because you know me and I I am still a big uh, graveyard girl fan even though her videos have changed you know ever since but who knows but I still have her palette and of course after that palette it's gonna be Kathleen Light's Dream Street palette which I finally got after a while since it released and that'll be it for all the collabs I've done so if you guys want to and should subscribe hit the subscribe button hit the subscribe button also hit the notification bell to be alerted with any new videos that come out also make sure you follow us on our wordpress blog and our twitter at nerdy chic alongside any other things i may be able to link a few things for you I think I could use eBay links for this uh, palette, maybe. But anyways, so stay tuned for my last two videos in the series. And stay beautiful while traveling the universe. Bye.